Hello friends, in this video we will be making the SO dye methyl red. Methyl red is an SO dye that is widely used as an indicator in chemistry. It has a color of red in pH under 4.4 and yellow in pH over 6.2. The procedure that I am following is adapted from the Vogel's textbook of practical organic chemistry. I had made methyl orange few months back following the same textbook. Materials required for the synthesis include 6.5 grams of antranilic acid, 8.9 milliliters of dimethyl aniline, 6.8 grams of sodium acetate, 12.5 milliliters of concentrated hydrochloric acid, 3.6 grams of sodium nitrite, 5 milliliters of 20% sodium hydroxide, 10% acetic acid, and toluene. We begin by making certain solutions. First, we make a dilute hydrochloric acid solution by adding 5 ml of concentrated 37% HCl to 15 ml of distilled water and stirring it well. Next, we make a sodium nitrite solution by dissolving 3.8 grams of it in 7.5 ml of water and then it is placed in a ice bath to cool down. The third solution is made by dissolving 6.8 grams of sodium acetate in 10 ml of distilled water. Now keep all those three solutions aside and let's start. We have taken 6.5 grams of anthranilic acid in this beaker along with a stirring bar and then we add the diluted hydrochloric acid solution which we had prepared previously. Anthranilic acid was synthesized in one of my previous videos. I'll put a link to that in the description. It will take some time to dissolve all the anthranilic acid. Just give some heat so that it would easily dissolve. Just let it dissolve or it's on. We are not looking for any complete dissolution as we have a lot of impurities in the anthranilic acid. Once most of it is dissolved, we stop the heating and stirring and let everything undissolve to settle down and then get rid of the unreacted stuff by simple gravity filtration. We will be left with a dark red to brown colored solution or a dark peach color to be exact. A vacuum filtration would be much faster and efficient in this case but since I do not have that equipment, I am using the ancient simple gravity filtration method. The solution was then placed into an ice bath to cool down to less than 5 degrees Celsius. Our sodium nitride solution is already inside the chilling. To cool down further, we add 25 grams of crushed ice and the remaining 7.5 ml of the 37% hydrochloric acid was then added to the mixture. The temperature was monitored with a thermometer and it was made sure that the temperature reached less than 5 degree or even less than 10 degrees Celsius is fine. Now with stirring, the cold sodium nitride solution was added to the anthranilic acid solution. The addition was very slow and care should be taken that the temperature do not go up as the reaction can actually rise the temperature and you will end up with tarry byproducts. The diazonium compound is now slowly being formed and the solution acquires a light amber color. You can notice that some nitrogen dioxide gas is formed during the addition. This is an indication that the temperature had risen up, but since it is a very little amount, just pretend that it did not happen. Now we initiate the coupling step, we add 8.9 ml of the dimethyl aniline to it, all at once, with stirring. You can notice how a clear orange colored solution is formed initially and with constant stirring it turned to a deep red color, that is expected. Also the reaction can get quite messy from here as the SO dyes can stain literally everything. So be well aware of that and be careful with your own clothes and other stuff. We will now cool the beaker again in the ice bath and bring down the temperature to less than 5 degrees Celsius. After that, with constant stirring, I add half the amount of the sodium acetate solution which we had prepared earlier. Then we will continue stirring for about 1 hour. And then only we will be adding the rest of the sodium acetate solution.
I had actually forgotten that I had a magnetic steerer all this time and I was manually steering for about 15 minutes. Then only I remembered about the magnetic steerer and then I started steering it in the magnetic steerer with an ice bath. After one hour the rest of the sodium acetate solution was poured inside and then we will let it sit for another half an hour in the ice bath. You can also notice how the consistency of the solution has increased. After half an hour we remove the ice bath and let the beaker come slowly to the room temperature with stirring. When it comes back to the room temperature, 5 ml of 20% sodium hydroxide solution was added with stirring and then the stirring was continued for another 1 hour. Finally, the crude product was filtered which has this deep red to almost black color. The crystals was washed then with 10 ml of 10% acetic acid to get rid of the unreacted dimethyl aniline and then with a very few ml of cold distilled water as this compound is soluble in water. The crystals were then recrystallized by using toluene. After recrystallization, I was left with this dark, almost black colored solid, and this is the methyl red. And I was able to obtain 6.5 grams, which is almost the almost equal to the yield that is given in the textbook. Now let us just quickly test it. A very few milligrams of the solid methyl red was taken in an Erlenmeyer flask and some amount of distilled water was added in order to dissolve the compound. We have taken two beakers and into both of the beakers the methyl red solution was added in equal amounts and into the first beaker we added some hydrochloric acid and you can immediately see how the color changed to a red color and to the second beaker was added a sodium hydroxide solution and you can see that the color lightened. So yeah that's all in this video. Hope you loved my video. Do support my channel via Patreon or PayPal just like these cool guys here. I have provided the links in the description. Do subscribe to the channel and click on the bell button for notifications and I will meet you with another video soon.